Hi, I'm back working well in the construction phase uh, with uh, my debut professional software. Now, we could also apply uh, another two techniques to uh, merge and exclude parts from the construction model or from the design model, if indeed that be the case. And a lot of times you may have to go and uh, mock up in field. A lot of these large, uh, larger AEC firms require that you attend meetings where you will create a mock-up in the field. And that's always good for everyone to ascertain exactly how a lot of these components go together so that uh, it's more of a, uh, a fluent conveyance of the ideas behind the installation. So now, merging parts uh, can be something that uh, can be very advantageous to you, and as well as excluding them. So let's just read verbatim from the text so that we understand uh, the ins and tool. Parts can be merged to form larger, more contiguous geometry. However, the parts to be merged must have the same material and the same creation and demolition phases. And the merged geometry must consist of a single connected component. Parts with gaps assigned to the divisions will not be uh, merged. To merge parts, press the control key while selecting multiple parts. In the contextual ribbon, click Merge Parts. And once the parts have been merged, you can always edit them in the future to edit merge parts, select, uh, and then edit merged from the contextual ribbon. So I'll demonstrate that real quick for you. And uh, if we come down to the, uh, uh, the finished parts model, and I grabbed this particular part, and I was to hold down Control and grab this one, and I was to uh, uh, come up over here. Hold on a second. Let me, uh, oh, my, my mouse got stuck. Sometimes this mouse can get stuck. Yeah, so yeah, if you noticed uh, on the part panel in the uh, in the context of selecting the wall, you'll notice that the uh, merge parts uh, button uh, did appear and it creates a single part from selected parts that share an edge or overlap and have the same material and phasing values. When the part resulting from a merge is selected, you can use the edit merge part tool to add or remove parts. So uh, we're going to get into and that error message is going to state behind my head that some parts are not included in the merge. Parts can only be merged if they have the same material, same creation and demolition phases. And the merge geometry consists of a single connected component. So in this case, what the problem is, is that um, the gap in between these particular panels. So if I zoom in here, and I was to select this one panel and uh, edit the division. I just change this gap back to zero, um, and then just uh, accept that as a fact, and then grab another one of them, and select, hold down control and grab another, and merge the parts. Indeed, it did merge into one panel, and by selecting that panel again, we could always edit the merge part, and we can again add or remove another panel, uh, and I'll now add that panel and remove this panel. Should click the check. Uh, they only merge to have the same material, the same creation, and demolition phases. And the merge geometry consists of a single connected component. Well, the gap still exists. The gap still exists. So we would have to actually select um, this, this, this panel, that panel, this one, and that one. And uh, what we could do is um, um, grab this real quick. Hold on. Grab this one. Uh, edit division. And as you see, there's still a one-inch gap. So you'll have to uh, make sure that the part merge does indeed conform to the criteria. And uh, now we know that we merge, we can merge these two, right? We grab this one, we grab this one, we grab this one. Make sure, is there a gap there? Uh, I don't believe, maybe on the top, merge parts. Now we got one panel. And if I was to grab it again, and I was to uh, divide them again, well, we could do that again, right? Using intersected planes. And we could select maybe the uh, Reference plane, um, we could use the, um, we could use reference planes. And we can use the uh, Y plane one. Right? And accept that. Sure enough, it's divided without a gap again. And we can grab it, grab it, and then merge it back. Simple as that. Now, excluding parts. Parts can also be excluded from a model to support more detailed construction conditions. To exclude a part, select the part and click exclude parts from the exclude panel of the contextual ribbon. 
Excluded parts will not appear on any schedule, however, they are easily restored. To restore an excluded part, hover over the area with your mouse pointer where the part was excluded. You will be able to select the excluded part, but it will be indicated with a special icon. Click the icon on the excluded part to click Restore Parts in the contextual ribbon. So let me just undo uh, out of that so that we have an opportunity to grab some more parts. And I'm just going to keep the, uh, the division gap indeed um, well divided in the division because there tends to be a large gap within the division that uh, separates uh, lots of the different panels. So if I was to grab uh, this part, and then if you see the exclude panel opens up and just exclude the part, you'll see it's actually gone from the equation. If I was to select that one, exclude part, it's gone from the equation. So I escape out of there and come up to this model. And if you hover over, you can add it back in, right? You can restore the part. Come over here. It's still there as a piece of geometry. It's there as, as void geometry. So that's a quick overview of how you uh, uh, merge and uh, exclude parts. But um, you might want to follow the video prior to this because it does talk about um, being aware of the uh, parts category um, when you are merging and excluding all these things. Uh, there's a uh, visibility uh, graphics hierarchy that will, uh, will assist you in being able to not only uh, merge these parts, but uh, apply textures uh, and surface patterns so that uh, they're more aesthetically pleasing to the eye. So now we're going to be getting into scheduling parts uh, soon. And, um, and we're going to be flying through this at a, at a, at a records pace. So I want you to... Uh, Stay focused, and when I see you tomorrow, uh, just make sure you bring lots of coffee, because again, this is something that um, you don't need to know, and uh, you've been sent here by by your organization. Learn these tools, and I'm going to do my best to uh, to make sure that uh, you leave um, after you obtain the certificate, and then when you get back to your shop or your organization, that these tools are available to you, and you're able to to demonstrate them and provide a, 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 a an additional level of production capabilities within your firm. And, and, and I'm hoping that when that does happen, that you uh, you uh, instill some of these skills that you've learned in some of, the, of your subordinates. Uh, because when we met with your organization's superiors, they were adamant about that. They were adamant about that they don't want this money that they're wasting on this consulting fee to, to die with the class that is uh, receiving it. So take these skills that you've learned and see if you can maybe uh, let it trickle down into organization so that everyone can benefit from it. It always works better that way. And then therein lies the, uh, the key to sustenance and sustain. Again, it won't be easy. You'll run into resistance. But I don't want you to attenuate. I don't want you to attenuate on your way there. Because, again, the goal is sustain, and uh, that's uh, what we're looking to, to help you along with. That's why they hired me. So uh, have a nice night, and I'll see you in the morning.